From now on, I'm gonna make your life a living hell. Why would you do that? Why are you so mean? Because you don't do as I say, that's why. Good morning, Megan. Morning. Here's your breakfast. Do you promise me you're gonna eat it today? I'm gonna try. I will do I will definitely do my best. I don't want to hear the words try from you again, okay? I'm so tired bringing you breakfast every morning and you're not eating it. I'm not going to bring you breakfast next time if you're not going to eat it. Well, I'm sorry. I, you do know that I had that surgery and it suppresses my appetite, right? I don't care if you don't have an appetite. Just force yourself to eat. Are we clear? I'll try. I'll be back in 20 minutes to pick up that tray. This tray is better be cleared when I get back. Shanice, what is this? You again didn't eat your food? I'm so tired of this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I, I, I try, I swear. You see, I, I tried to take a bite of my apple here, but it, I just couldn't. You know, maybe if we just leave it and just come back in a little bit, I'll try again. No, I gave you 20 minutes to eat it and that's plenty of time. Give me that. Can I at least have my water? No. If you don't get to eat your food, you don't get to drink your water either. Why, why are you so nasty? I, I, I don't understand. You're a nurse. You're supposed to be kind to your patients. Isn't that a part of your job responsibility? From now on, I'm going to make your life a living hell. I'm so tired of you entitled patients who think they can do whatever they want. No, I'm sorry, this is not how it works. I'm the nurse and I'm your boss. Oh, and since you're not hungry for your breakfast, I won't bring you lunch either today. Wait, I, I know I'll be hungry by then. Nope, I warned you. What? I'm sorry. I, I am I'm beginning to get a little hungry and thirsty. You should have thought of that this morning. Remember what I said this morning? Please. No. I clearly told you, no lunch for you today. That's what you get for not eating your breakfast earlier. If you're not going to give me lunch, can you at least give me a cup of water, please? Sure. I'll bring you water. Here you go, I got you a cup of water. Why would you do that? Why are you so mean? Because you don't do as I say, that's why. Can I get another cup of water? No, you would have to wait for your cup of water till dinner tonight. That's like six hours away. Well, I guess then you would have to do what that beer commercial says. Stay thirsty, my friend. Hey nephew, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing better. I'm hoping um, they'll, they'll let me out of this hospital tomorrow. 
Yeah. Hey, I know you're on vacation with the kids, so I don't, I don't want to keep you long. But I want to ask a favor of you. It, I remember a while back you mentioned that you were friends with one of the directors here at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I need a favor. Listen. There's a nurse here, my nurse. Her name is Megan. She, I, I believe that she's the worst nurse ever. First of all, she's very abusive. <laughs> and, and she won't give me any food. And, and she just poured out my water. She wouldn't give me any water. Mm -hmm. Right. So... I'd like for you to give him a call and, you know, really tell him who Megan really is. Yeah. So I, I'm sure that he would not want this type of liability here in the hospital. Okay. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that question. I have all the proof you need right here on my phone. Okay, so if you would, you're gonna send it to him after, yeah, I'll send it to you. And then if you would forward it to him, I would appreciate it. Okay, I'll send it over to you right after. Thank you so much. You go back and enjoy your vacation, okay? <laughs> I can't wait to see her face when she looks at this. Nurse Megan, what a surprise. Where, where are your nurse's outfit? Shanice, my boss saw the video you took. I just got fired. Okay. And? I just wanted to apologize to you. I know I was, I was wrong for the way I treated you. That's a surprising change of attitude from the last few couple of days. I know I was horrible and mean, and I should have never treated you that way. Well, I accept your apologies, and I hope you've learned from your mistake. I definitely have. That's good. Well, I've got to go now. Before you go, can I ask you for a favor? A favor? Yeah, I, I was wondering if maybe you can call my boss and tell him I apologize to you, and Maybe tell him it was a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? You know, good and damn well, it was not a misunderstanding. Look, I'm all about people learning from their mistakes. But you're going to need a lot of training to change your ways. So no, I'm not going to call your boss and tell him everything is OK. You know, I would be doing a huge disservice to this hospital. Please. I'm out of work. I don't even know if I can afford rent next month. I understand that. But you should have thought about that before you abused me and probably other patients before me. You see, this job requires patience, compassion, and lots of love, regardless of who the patient is. You know, I'm not sure you're fit for this job anymore. I'm sorry. Okay. But I'm gonna leave you one piece of advice. Go find a job where you're not working with people. But if you end up working with others, I suggest that you go and get some therapy first. Lots of it. Goodbye, me.